Hey y'all, it is me again. We are back with another design video and this week we are animating eyes because you're at some point you're gonna have to animate some eyes. So let me go ahead and show y'all. Um, I just really wanna get right into it. If you want an introduction, watch our past videos because um, I really wanna get right into this one. It's a little more complicated, but nothing you can't do because I didn't even know how to do this until I tried to do it today. So come along with me as I struggle to do this again and show y'all how I did it so that you can do it too. So, okay, I've got my almond and everything. I've got my little pupil. And first off, we want to go ahead and do a set mat with this pupil. Um, and we want to do it to the eye white so that as we move it around, um, let's see. I just need to add a color in the back so I can see what I'm doing. Once we did that set mat, you're able to, um, you know, have your people move, move within the eye and it's not getting lost within everything else. So I'll go ahead and delete that red. I just want to take the pupil and parent that to the null object because this is going to be the pupil controller. That's all we're trying to control right now is the pupil. So position wise, we've got it right there. So let's add that keyframe and then I'm going to scale this down a little bit so I can see at least one second. Let's say at like half a second, we want it to this pupil to move over. Here, we're going to make it look like it's kind of doing a little eye roll in a way. And I'm going to go ahead and I've got all of them selected, hit the graph, and select them over here, and hit Easy Ease. There is a command key for Easy Ease, but I don't know what it is on Mac, so whatever. Um, let's see. See, so that kind of like makes it roll a little faster, but... Okay, that should be more. Whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was, now you're on crack, your eyes are moving like that. Okay, okay, let's see where this is going wrong. I'm gonna think for a little bit there. That was a little better, that was a little better, that was better. Okay. Okay, I'm really not even mad at that. I do think that this little ease is a little too hard. There we go. There we go. That's, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I've already made this today. So this is it. This is where it's gonna stay. Um, and then with the eye white, so let's go to layer. I wanna add like a little shift this is where Ben Marriott, Brian Marriott, I'm so sorry. This is where he helped me out because this is nothing that I would have thought of yet, but this is a good way to make your design not look so robotic in his terms. Um, so we're gonna rename this. This is gonna be the eye, the white of the eye. Um, let's say white controller. Okay, so, and then we'll parent this one to that. Um, your, you'll parent your white of the eye to that null that we just made because that's going to control the way that it moves. So that's why you parent it to it. So we're gonna nudge it over, let's say six to eight nudges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then once it goes over to the right, we'll nudge it back over eight notches so it's back in the center. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I missed it. Maybe missed one there. So there we go. And let's see. It just adds like a little 
bit of humanness to it, but let's go ahead and add some ease as well to these. Let's make it blink first, because that'll be hard. That's gonna be harder. So from here, we're going to manipulate the, um, the vector that we already made for this and bring it down. Um, it doesn't have to be completely shut because honestly, the way I made this one, um, I'm not going to be able to get it completely shut, but we'll get it as good as we can. I'm okay with that. Again, I've made this already, so there we go. Keyframe. Then when we want it to open again, we'll just take that first one, command copy, and open. And we need to have that open one right before this too, otherwise it's going to gradually slow, like slowly do that. So now that we've got the blink, anytime we need to blink, you can just copy and paste those little um, little transitions and they're there already. So now I think we can go ahead and try to make our iris. So let's command D this, name it iris. Okay. And so I want to transform this a little bit, the scale of it to make it a little bit bigger than the pupil. And we want to obviously put it underneath the pupil. And let's make it brown because that's what I have it as starting in the um, original. So we can obviously make that. Uh, the pupil's obviously too too damn big. There we go. Now you got a big old iris, but that's okay. That's at least not suspicious. So let's go ahead and have the color start there and go to where we blink. Because at this point, that right when it opens back up, it's going to change colors. So let's go right to that last frame where it closes. There we go. And this is where we'll change that first color to let's say like that hazel brown color. And I'm gonna butt the brown again right up next to that color because After Effects tends to change that color fast. So let's copy and paste that one and we'll have it blink again here soon after. Paste that. And paste your blink and then um, make your next color right butt it up next to that color all right so and in order to make your lid for this next step um, if you want to go this far all you have to do is command D the eye white and um, that'll duplicate that layer, rename it to eyelid. I already did that, I have it here. Um, and then you do, as you'll see, since you want it to be below everything. Um, as you can see, you can't see it because you still have all these frames there. So go ahead and delete that. And then once it starts blinking, let's see. This should be parented to I white. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so you want to parent your eyelid to the eye white just so that as it moves, it goes with it and then your set matte effect that is on that eyelid um, should be sourced from the white controller because that's technically also moving the white of your eye. I would imagine this could also be eye white, 
I don't see why it wouldn't work, but it looks like it works to me. It's just trial and error, y'all. Just try it until it works, you know? Um, because you have to, before you have a mental breakdown, like I've had plenty of times, just remember that it's a computer and it's all a mathematical like language within this computer. So if there's a will, there's a way and you're smart enough to figure it out. Just woo saw through it because it's not the computer, it's you. It's all coding, you know, so you'll, you can figure it out. Um, and I think this is as far as I'm going to go with y'all. Um, if you want to add something in the iris, you can totally do that. And, you know, you've kind of had a little bit of experience with the set matte effect. So I have every trust and faith in y'all that you could figure it out and do something way better than what I've done here. Um, because again, I went ahead and added our little C in. I'll show it again here at the end um, in the pupil and made it blink a couple more times, kind of like, you know, color change through the eyes. So yeah, this was fun. I feel like we did a lot in a short amount of time, but you know, also you gain an appreciation for animators because there is a lot to just a simple, pretty simple animation. Once you get good at it and you know, it goes quicker, but either way, it's all so detailed and very well thought out. So. Big shout out to Ben Marriott because he got me through this one. And yeah, I hope y'all had fun with this one. And again, let me know what y'all wanna see. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Maybe I am, but yeah, let me know. And I will see y'all next week.